Word of the day. Strong people stand up for themselves. But stronger people stand up for others. So just in the break room at the moment, today is Premier Boot Camp Day number three. Thought I'd give you guys an update. They're out there just getting in and sharing their message and they're up on the platform. So some of them are nervous, some of them are using with confidence and some of them are just like, oh, I don't know if I got this, I don't know, but I'm just giving them positivity. So it's great. I just thought I'd share with you about the boot camp guys, the Premier Boot Camp guys, actually get one of these. And what it is is that before boot camp, we actually had to fill in a questionnaire and it was the Gallup Strength Test. And because I'm a protege student, I've actually unlocked all 34 of my strengths. But for the Premier Boot Camp students, they actually only get their top five. So to receive all 34, you have to actually do the protege course. So on my top five, there is Achiever, Input, learner, positivity and erasure. That's me. That is my identity. So, and it goes according to my, so my strongest strength is actually my achiever. So, I'm always wanting and willing to do the best for me, but not only for me, for the people around me. I'm on a roller coaster ride and my roller coaster is only going up. So, everybody around me are coming along for the ride. So, I'm always wanting to see what is that they want they want to achieve and how can I actually help them not only that for me I have to achieve the best for me as well because I lost of who I am embracing who I am and knowing now that I need to look after myself so I'm wanting to achieve the best my second one is actually input so input is basically me gathering all the information I'm learning and I'm storing this information useless information and very good information so what I, what I do is I read 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 all these listening to audios watching videos all that stuff that I'm learning in terms of knowledge I'm actually putting it all into my learning and I want to become a better person that's why I'm an achiever is wanting to actually get to know all the knowledge to overcome the fear and then if I don't use that knowledge, I will still have it stored in my head and I'll use it later on. Maybe not for me, but maybe for somebody else, which I can actually share that with. Um, I'm a learner, which is my top number three. And learner is basically learning. I'm always learning. I'm a student. I'm always wanting to study, wanting to know more and getting through that. So with learner and input, they go together. So I'm learning and, I'm, and I'm, at least I'm storing them but I'm not useless because I'm actually taking action. Okay, so they go together really well. Positivity! I'm not allowed to speak too loud or so hear me, but positivity, oh my God, that is so me! That is so me, always looking for the light, always looking for the best, always staying with positive people, like-minded people that can actually be, make me feel, maybe not feel, but get me on that road, get me on that journey to that direction that I actually need. And I'm always enlightening others. And if you're down, I'm always picking you right back up. And I am a realist, okay? So positivity, you're sort of the, like you're oozing with a bit of com with confidence and certainty and always looking for the brighter side of things, always looking for the goodness in everything. And that's always been me. And now I've, I've, because I'm immersed in the environment that I am in, I'm engaged into the positivity world, into the environment in itself. And I think that's a really good strength to have. <laughs> arranger is my number five, my fifth strength. So arranger is actually seeing the room or how it's organized. I can actually tap in and go who and what strengths, what their responsibilities, and I can organize the room in that sort of a way and make sure that the whole event goes really smoothly. Anyway, that's enough for the Gallic strength test so that you guys know, but each person who's enrolled for the boot camp receives this with their name on it and their top five strengths and if you're a protege student you get the full 34 strengths unlocked and 
Kate Cawthorn actually goes with you and talks about each of your strengths and your balcony and your basements. So your basements is like your blind spot, what you don't see, and maybe you might want to call it a weakness, but it's just a blind spot that you don't see that you might want to improve and just be aware of, of actually this. So yeah, so she sits with you and talks about your balcony and your basement. So, and as long as you understand what they are and how you, you can improve in them, just being aware of your basement. Um, I believe that if you understand what your strengths are and you continue working on those strengths, people will know you for that. Absolutely. Anyway, i got to get back in. I want to see more of these guys get excited on the platform, getting ready and getting their mindset switched on because some of these guys have only had five hours sleep, which reminds me of me when I was in boot camp. But I went all out. That's what I did, all out. <laughs> anyway, these guys, I'm so excited. Third day transformation yesterday. They were doing their message on the platform and a lot of them were pulling out their hair which I wasn't here to see which is unfortunate but I will be here for the other boot camps for full three days and be able to watch their growth but just for them to, to, to see them on the Monday, oh sorry on the Friday and then for them to see them on the Sunday which is today, how exciting. So excited for these guys and their journey has basically just begun. Mm. Protégé! Boot campers, I hope they join my journey. I hope they do. It'd be so exciting if they do. Today. I'm so excited for these guys, their new journey, I'm such excited. Anyone? 